nothing like a near death experience to bring well, you I, together. I, I, <laughs> There's other people down there, like, we're not gonna die. In four days, I'll make it out of here. I'm hanging on for my dear <laughs> life. I'm hanging on roots. I'm like, just clawing dirt. They must know a way out of this jungle. <laughs> we're as effed as you guys are. That's what I didn't understand, too. Uh, this is Jonathan here. I'm um, behind the camera is my wife Jessie. Say hi Jessie. Hello everyone. So this is one of our early videos so I thought it'd be a good time to kind of talk about how the three of us met or you know became uh, friends so to speak. Did we first meet like were you sitting beside me at work? I was a co-op student. I don't know anyone and I was like terrified of him. We didn't speak at all. So I had met a few people who eventually we met. We ended up talking and hanging out. Yeah, we just decided like, oh, like, you know, we should do like other things outside of just like work. It was the summer. Um, we all felt like, oh, let's get out. Let's go somewhere. Yeah. I was going on a lot of trips during that time. I was doing a lot of hiking. Even though like you guys never like doing that kind of stuff. I don't know yeah, how no, I managed to convince you guys to do it. I think I was feeling adventurous and I, I think that I bit off more than I can chew, but we'll get into that more later. We decided on Dundas Peak, which is, it's not like a big hike, but a hiking area. I um, think we convinced you guys it was like the views, right? Yeah. When we went there and the views were good, but oh, the trip kind of went haywire. And Oh, that's a story we have <laughs> to tell you guys because it's insane. Like that, I think that trip single-handedly like establish our friendship They're like a really solidified everything and that's how we became so close right it's nothing like a near-death experience to bring well, I, together. I, I think it was more like if i'm willing to put up with this with someone i must want to be friends with them because if it was someone i didn't like i'd be like yeah i'm yeah, not we're gonna done. <laughs> we're done here no this is not happening again we've noticed is that we all have different sides to the same story we don't know who's right all the time. The three of us always get into these little arguments, arguments <laughs> on who's right, you know, who's being ridiculous. We're just argumentative. Well, and basically, stubborn. yeah, <laughs> whose fault it is to almost kill everyone during yeah. that hike. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have to tell you the story because every single time we tell the story, everyone we tell it to, everyone's like, oh my god, like, that's such a funny, like, story. Like, everyone's dying of laughter. Mm -hmm. These two always pin it like, Oh, I almost killed them and that was all my oh, fault. Oh, no, 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 this, okay. That's not the argument we're having today. We're seeing how much of the blame you should take for this. Not that there's no blame. I didn't that say there's no blame. There, there is some blame. We are just discussing the amount of blame that should be attributed to your action. So I don't know. Let, I, let me every paint. Every single time you say this story, it's always me. I'm going to paint the picture. It's always me I'm gonna paint the, the bad picture. guy almost killed okay. me. <laughs> so you got us too. You know, we're a little bit lazier. We're not the athletic type, right? I'm just saying, is this a fact? Can yeah, we put yeah. that on yeah. the table? Are you the one that is more typical of going out at that time? Being yeah. a little more hype, whatever. Yeah, I'm the athletic. It's not the one. Fun. I'm not the one. And first of all, let's get this. I, I'm thinking of new arguments as this goes on. Oh, okay. Am I the first one that would go, uh, you know, let me go on a hike. Do I, guys, do I look like that kind of? No, I'm not that kind of guy. We're not the type, so, oh, I'm going to go on a hike. So you already got an idea that's already. So you have to take claim of the idea to go to Dundas Oh, yeah. The idea was definitely my, my Okay, idea. so let's put that yeah. in I a little we, capsule, I think we guys. Need to, like, explain what happened first no we, we will explain but are you will you take ownership of that idea of oh, us but going? that was never a question like, okay it was always sure okay idea. okay you now, guys agreed to it now we were on this thing and it's a very picturesque area so we're taking pictures and we wanted it to be a whole day thing like we yeah. didn't want it like 10 minutes there 20 minutes back no it takes a while to drive there it took a bit of time we wanted to make it a day trip right so, yeah, so we went there and it was what like the actual main part of the hike to look at the peak what under an hour the actual walk up to the peak itself was about 20 minutes mm -hmm. so it wasn't that bad of a hike paved essentially so it was like a really easy hike so we walked up there we were taking photos and stuff it was a lot of fun mm -hmm. it was really beautiful it was a beautiful day it was like really hot and sunny yeah so we get to the top and like oh wow like you know like that was a lot shorter and easier than we thought it was going to be we thought it was actually going to be like a trail it's going to take a lot longer it was about noon right so like it wasn't quite like lunchtime yet we, yeah, were, yeah. we were like oh let's stay a little longer like what should we do and then 
that's when things go all haywire because essentially John here has this fantastic idea where no. this, where this, no, uh, this other I'm not channel, thinking this is yeah, where no, we differ. No, no, no. You it was definitely your idea. It's like, oh I wonder what's down this trail. Let's go check it out, guys. And even though it had a big sign that I said like, to both of you, do you think we should go down that thing? Did I not? And as two against one, <laughs> who obviously bicker against me when they want to, <laughs> I think you should have gone John, that might not have been a good idea. I was just trying to accommodate a, my friend, like you at that time, even though maybe we weren't quite friends yet. Yeah. I was trying to accommodate you. I was saying, let's go a little further. Let's see where this gets us. Yeah. Okay. But it was your idea that you pitched out. Let's consider going down this path. Jesse, I don't remember. Did I do that? Was I the one to choose or no? I really don't remember. All I know is that I didn't choose it because I am, that day, I'm like, I'm the follower. I'm not going to make any decisions. So, I'm out. <laughs> it's, it's That's such out. a cough out. Okay, now, so do you do you deserve any blame <laughs> for not stepping up and being like, whoa, do you know my husband? Like, let's take it easy here, Diana. Do you know my husband? Well, that's the thing. At the time, I didn't really know you yeah. guys, right? I didn't know, like, you guys that well. well. Well, to be honest, we saw people down there. So we thought it's a legit trail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we didn't think we will be stranded for a little longer than we expected. A little. <laughs> a little longer. Yeah, well, a few hours, okay, without water. That day. Okay, this is another so... thing. This is the no, no, I got it. This, this is the thing. I have thought about this whole thing and why it was so bad. And this is why I blame you more than anyone. This part of the story. You always thought that I was mad at you because of how much we walked. It was because of the amount of liquid you expected me to use up within an entire day. No. That was a total misestimate. No, because okay, thing okay, I'm gonna ask you. We're asking the audience right now. Tire day. How many cups of water do you think would have been an acceptable amount for a hike? Okay. And uh, no, I'm asking them, so that's out of the way. How many cups did you suggest? So, like, honestly, you were like one bottle's enough. I had like. Four bottles of water in the trunk. You're like, ah, you don't need that. Just all I had to bring was one bottle. I think I had half a liter of water between Jesse and me. You know, we were all adults. Okay, bring how much water you think is appropriate, <laughs> right? I brought my own water. They were in charge. You of told me how much you're bringing, and yeah, I didn't. And I told you. I didn't I know you bringing. were a camel at that point. <laughs> I wasn't like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm my friend is a desert animal. I didn't know this, right? I was like, what's an appropriate human? I'm out. So anyways, I guess you were nice. You let me have a little bit of your Gatorade at bit. some point. Yeah, because you were like, I was near death, right? But anyways. So I brought one bottle because like I know myself. But in fairness though, we didn't think we were going to be out there that long. We didn't think we were going to get stranded. We thought we would just walk to the peak and back. If we were just doing that, we would have been. Yeah, we probably would have been okay. Yeah, it's less than an hour. Right? Yeah. For that. Anyways, we go down that path. Even though there's a big sign that says, but I didn't don't know. Go. There were so many points where I said we should turn back, and you kept on wanting. You thought to connect okay, back. That was my fault. But no, it didn't. No, it was like what's that painting? I don't know if either of you know where there's all the stairs on the painting, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you yeah, go yeah. on, and it's like you're in a different entrance way. And it was legitimately like we got lost. Like I did not yeah. know. It made no sense. We thought we were looping back. Yeah. We were just getting further away from the starting point. Okay, so like to backtrack a little bit to explain yourself, this is when you go up to the peak. Yeah, so yeah. when we were at the top and when we went down that trail, it literally went down a trail that circled all the way down to the bottom of that peak. But the thing is, we figured, oh, at one point, it will level back up, according to Google Map, level back up and meet where we first, like, entered the park. So mm. then we're like, oh, okay, like, there's trails and stuff. There must be an exit somewhere down there where, like, you loop back to, like, civilization. Mm. We didn't realize we were going down to, like, a never-ending, like, terrain, like, cabass, where, like, we're stuck in this. Well, I think that we can't blame Google Maps. I think we were using it incorrectly. So no. I don't think it's fair because to Google Maps. Because Google Maps is very good at like, doing the trails in terms of elevations and stuff like that. We walked down this trail. It was really beautiful. It was picturesque. I was like, wow, this looks really nice. So we keep walking and walking. And then it starts getting more and more trees and less and less trail-like. And there was trees falling everywhere. And you could tell that the trails haven't been used in a very long time. And we're like, okay, well, this used to be an old trail. So we're like, oh, like, no, it's kind of 
And then there was the people walking around, there was other people down there, so like it wasn't that bad, right? So like, oh, mm-hmm. there's other people down there, like we're not gonna die, like no big deal. So like we're walking further, further in, and then at some point, like John did a few times say, oh, maybe we should turn back, and then I was like, oh, I think it like would eventually loop back around or go back to like a road. Mm-hmm. So we're walking yeah. down, and then we we're like completely enclosed by the canopy. It was a really hot and muggy day that day too. So even though we were sheltered by the canopy, we were sweating, like it was hot. Yeah. So I was trying to conserve my water like a camel. And, yeah. <laughs> and then the, you're down in your water. I was thinking about drinking that from that stream water. Because in my head I said, I could get very, very sick from yeah. the stream water. But in four days I'll make it out of here. I can go to a hospital. <laughs> I can do what I need to do. That was my logic for a moment. Like that's how bad and thirsty I got in that situation. So we kept walking further into the forest and we're like oh there's a bunch of waterfalls let's keep going right there must be an exit somewhere and then yeah then at one point where like some of the ledges were like so super thin i'm like a pretty experienced hiker that stuff to me is like super easy but like john you know being the clumsy self himself like, hanging on for my dear yeah. life i'm hanging I'm, I'm sorry i hope i didn't damage any plants that trip i'm like oh, hanging did? i'm hanging on roots i'm like just clawing dirt. I'm like, come on. Like, I'm not struggling. I'm just sliding on my butt half the time. It was I a know. nightmare. You were definitely struggling. I mean, me and Jess had to, like, help you up, help you across things the entire time. Okay, what, the part where I had to take on my shoes for a stream, that's when you know things have gone terribly bad. I'm like, <laughs> oh, this is your best option, Don. It's across the stream. It's the your best like, option, like God. The, the route like kind of disappeared. Oh, like we had goodness. no, we had no way to like keep going. So like, okay, the only thing we saw was like the stream with the rocks, and it was so hot. So we're like, okay, let's cool down. So we literally took off our shoes and like we walked across yeah. the stream. You like, know what's not good for clumsy people? Wet rocks. It's not good for clumsy people. <laughs> it doesn't work well. We <laughs> end up doing it. Yeah, and then I go across I, and I lie on my back for like five minutes, contemplating life. That is not a good. Friend trip. That is not a way to develop a bond when you're lying, going, what have I done? Have I lived a good enough life? Is this the moment I go? Like, these are the kind of questions that are going into my head, okay? But anyways. I definitely remember just a few steep cliffs. So, like, I was able to just walk down easy. And then John, just, yeah, just leave me up here. <laughs> and then he's like, let me just slide down. And he was wearing shorts. So I was like, no, you're going to cut yourself sliding down these like steep cliffs, oh. free for all. He wasn't even like, holding on to any. He's like, no, I'm just going to slide down. Like, where I land? I where I land. <laughs> slide is an understatement. I made peace with the situation. No, he, I made peace with the situation. Yeah, he rolled, I think. It's more like it. Not really slide. You were at one point, I don't even know how, you were like rolling down. No, I was scooting. I wasn't roll. I had some, some control. Not much, but some. Okay? At this point, we were stuck in the forest now for what, like three or four hours now? It could have been three days for all I know. I don't know. I lost track of time. Honestly, I think you got to be blamed for most of it. Is that what no. I'm going to say? If we had this like wonderful picnic all in the trunk that was stuck up there. All the water was in the oh, car. God. The entire time we are just like, oh man, we're so hungry, we're so thirsty. We didn't bring anything. Any provisions yeah. would have helped me in this situation. <laughs> The entire time thinks like, oh my god, if only we could have the watermelon and the water up there. It was so close, but it was so far. I, I literally felt like I was in a video game and at the start we're like, take this weapon, you'll need it. And then you're just like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'll deal with it. It's fine. I was like, I got all my supplies here. We could have survived this. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That was, anyways. I'm just going to say, not cool. Bad advice. <laughs> we walked so far. We literally walked, I want to say, like seven hours now. It was like 7 p.m. by the time we managed to walk back up to peak again. No, I remember this better than you. It was getting dark. Yeah. And I looked at you and I said, one thing about the Dundas Peak is there's kind of a bus that goes back and forth from where you park to where they bring you. You can start your little, I guess it wasn't a little journey today, but a longer journey. But the thing is at a certain point, that's it. Like you're stuck at Dundas Peak essentially. Yeah. Like you got to make it back to this bus, the last bus out yeah, that yeah, night yeah. and then you're done. Then you're borderline hitchhiking. I don't even know. I was like, oh, we got to get back. This is getting into a uh-oh serious situation. Now. Like I'm, we're going to be in here at nighttime. That's true. I don't want to get stuck there. It was just barely navigable. 
like during the daylight but can you imagine during the dark no i don't know how i would i think at one it. point you looked at me and just leave me here and just go <laughs> and then like find help and come back and get me i that was one of the options i, I to this day i'm like eh, if you won with that i don't know maybe it would have turned out better i don't know <laughs> These two were like super tired. They're not used to it. So there was a few cliffs and some like ropes and stuff. So I was climbing these steep cliffs trying to find a way out. Is there some way to climb back up? Rather than going all the way back on the track that we went through to get down to the very bottom, how do we get back to the top? Even if I could do it, I don't think these two could manage to do it. Because at that point, we were so exhausted. We couldn't even talk anymore. We were just, we'd given up on life. I was playing music, trying to, you know, distract myself. Even I was like, exhausted at that Well, point. the worst thing was, we did bump into a couple of people. But this was what made the trip even worse. Yeah. There was these moments of glimmers of hope, right? Oh, so yeah, when yeah. we got to near the falls yeah, across yeah. the stream, I saw a group of people. I was like, they must know a way out of this jungle. Um, and they were just like, we're as effed as you guys are. <laughs> we're tourists here too. I, I, I don't know how we got in here. I don't know how to get out. And at that point, I think we should have followed them because again, why did we, they came from somewhere. Why didn't we just go back? They gave up. They were like, yeah, screw it. We're gonna get out of here. Yeah. Why did we just go? Yeah, you know what? Let's you guys couldn't it. find a place. We're smarter than you bozos. Let's, let's try to get out of here. I think that was our ego speak. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was like so many miss. Anyways, so the moral <laughs> of the story and what we're going to ask the audience, I think you're mainly at fault for this one. Okay, well then when you and picture you it like me. that... What's I your defense? What's say, your defense to get some votes here? I didn't here? say that it was like your fault or anything like that. I'm just saying that you're the one who sparked, oh, let's go down this trail. Like, let's see where this goes. And then I was like, yeah, okay, sure. Trying to be accommodating too. I'm surprised he wants to be going on a venture today. So let's go. And then, yeah. Going down a little bit of a trail doesn't mean all the way down the mountain. Just so you know. But the, no one knew what was on the bottom saying, or I on gave, the other side. What is that thing? I gave you an inch, you took a yard kind of thing. No, That's because, exactly what it because felt Because the like. thing is, we were all, okay, like, there must be a way out, so let's just keep going. We collectively as a group decide to continue to go. And we just end up getting ourselves stuck out there. Are you going to chime in here, Jess? Like, whose fault do you? Do you think it was mainly her fault or my fault? Well, I don't think it's anyone's fault. I think we all agreed at one point to go to a certain route. That, that I agree. We don't have someone at fault for that. But the water, the wine of water we yeah, needed. Yeah, that's the thing we didn't know though. We thought it's only like an hour, an hour and a half. One bottle of water should be oh. enough. But we looked at the trail yeah, at the it beginning. Wasn't that long. Yeah. It was not a steep trail. It's just kind of like look at the peak and we walk and then back. So it was yeah. a pretty level hike. But we choose to do the steep part. We didn't even know how steep it was. We just saw a trail. Yeah. We just thought it, it looped back around. We didn't realize it like zigzag all the way down to the bottom of the canyon and you get stuck at the bottom. It's no one's fault for not having enough water because we didn't know. We weren't expecting to do the whole down the mountain and back up, right? Yeah. But we still want to take photos after we got back to the start though. I remember. <laughs> That's what I didn't understand too. <laughs> I was like, went through hell. And I think because you didn't get your photos you wanted, you still kept us there <laughs> while you wanted to take photos. <laughs> what was that about? Yeah. What was that about? You knew I was not in a good mood either at this point. I, You know what I'm asking now, since I got you on camera. Wow. Reason? I wasn't thinking, to be honest. I was thinking about myself. I was like, oh, I, uh, I want to get uh, some nice uh, photos for Instagram. And this is my one time. I have I exhibit A through Z for the audience here. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, we still have to wait for the bus. Yeah. Anyway, so we know we have time left and we can't really do much. And I did give you my last half of my bottle. Yeah, I did sacrifice I it. also gave okay. you a quarter of my water. So to end this video, let's ask the audience. Who's mainly at fault? Is it okay that she asked for photos at the end of all this? Should she be redeemed? She gave me her last of her liquidation. Okay, that yeah. sounded really weird, but the <laughs> last of her, her bottle of some, whatever, Gatorade or whatever she had. Either way, should you be redeemed? As terrible as that experience was, and I'm sure you guys will never go on a hike with me ever again, or do double, anything double. ever. Actually, no, not did we, do, did we, we went to Montreal. Yeah, we did the Montreal. I almost died. That's a whole nother video. <laughs> That's know. a whole 
talking about their that, video. Okay, crazy. You guys clearly went on me, so, and we're still friends. That story has solidified our friendship. And you know, the saying goes, when people go through a really rough and troubling experience, it bonds you. <laughs> that moment, we became friends. And the second moral of the story is, don't take advice from camels. <laughs> <laughs> what, first you guys call me pigs, now you call me camels? <laughs> Anyways. And now, you know, we figured like, because of that, that's why we wanted to like, sh share it and like, create videos for other people to enjoy. Do you need me I to say this or do you want me to say it? Are you ready to say this or do you need me to say it? You can say it. <laughs> okay, well, despite that harrowing beginning, where you um, uh, contemplated death on multiple occasions. <laughs> yes. Um, I think I met a great friend, and I feel like Aww. we have a lot of stories that we like to talk about and that we like to share with people. And that's kind of why we decided to make these videos yeah. and why we made this channel. Because we feel like we got a lot of stories. And, and they're um, very funny. And, and I think there's a lot of arguments to be had and to get more people to chime in, which yeah. I think would be nice. So please... Um, you know, tune into our, our next videos and we look forward to sharing with them. If you guys really enjoy us and think we're hilarious too, like and subscribe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll see you ended. next time. Oh yeah. We'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. 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 Yeah, <laughs> some of that. Yeah, yeah. Some of that. Wait, wait, let's do that in part. Oh. Yeah, that part again. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. 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 Bye.